Hey guys, it's Mark from Two Dog. I'm going to show you how to swap out your SP1 for an SP3 on your Diatone Crusader. So, I just took off the four bolts or nuts that were on top of here. So, then you just pull this top board off. That's your flight controller. And there's your SP1 underneath. And you're going to have these little aluminum posts right here. Just pull those off. And try to have this on a, a flat surface because you got your four screws that'll keep them in. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna wiggle this one off. Okay, and unplug this in the front. Okay, and pull that out. I actually burned this up because a guy uh, on a race clipped my antenna and I flew around for two and a half minutes without an antenna on it. That will burn them up. Okay, here's my SP3. Da da da. And all you're gonna do you can take this piece and plug it right into there. And that's it. Now, if you want to, you can hook up your UART so you can have your OSD reading off your, um, your flight controller. And let's see here, let's look at our handy dandy instructions. Ta -da! So it goes this way. So we just plugged in this part right here. So I've got uh, power, ground, and a whole bunch of empty spots, and then video in, ground, and power. So that's it's gonna power that. And this port right here is for your OSD, which is ground, um, and then transmit, receive. So we've got these cables here. All right, so I took one of the wires that came with the OSD, the SP3. Took out the power and the ground wire, and the ground NC, and then the last RR, RSSI. So I left in the be the third and fourth pin, and then I took one of these pins that came with my SP3 or F3 D-Link three boards, and I pulled out everything but the pins three and four. So then what you want to do is you want to connect the transmit from the one of transmit on this to receive on this and receive on this to transmit on this. So if you look, this last wire here is the receive on the, the, the video transmitter OSD, but it's the first wire here, which is transmit. So this wire, this last wire is receive. And it's going right here, which is transmit on the board. And this is UART2 right here. So once I get, so it's transmit to receive, receive to transmit. You just swap them. Because this is talking to this and this talks back to this. So then to put this back together, let's see, this goes on the bottom. So I'm going to move this around. I want this wire, the white wire to go in between them. So we'll just put this back on the stack. So it just goes back on. We'll take our little purple spacers, or red or magenta. It depends what color you want to see, I guess. Put those on here. And that just gives you space between them so you're not crushing the boards when you tighten this down. And then we'll take this. See, I put this wire that's going to the OSD under the flight control board to keep it out of the way from getting yanked on and pulled secure a little bit. You know, just put this right back on it like this. Let's see, I think I'd want, I want this to come off. See this wire here? I want it to come off the side instead of go over the board. That way it's not being pinched. So I'll put those right between the USB and the connector. I'm gonna put this board back on. Then we're here, and I just put our screws on here, and you're done. And then we just set this up like our other video and mount this wherever you want. And that's how you do it.